Welcome to Ask an Expert. I'm your expert today, Jake Kenny. I'm a software engineer at Sierra Olympic Technologies. I'm here today at our headquarters in Hood River, Oregon, and I have a couple of different cameras I'd like to show you uh, and discuss camera non-uniformity correction, or nuking. In raw, uncorrected video, each pixel responds a little differently when exposed to different amounts of energy. To correct this, we do a non-uniformity correction, or nuke. At our factory, we perform a calibration in front of a black body. This is a special instrument that is capable of providing a uniform source of infrared light. We first look at a low temperature black body and then a high temperature black body, and from the difference between the two, we're able to calculate a gain value for each pixel. This corrects each pixel so that they respond similarly when exposed to the same amount of light. After the gain calibration, we still need to do an offset calibration at one temperature. This brings the camera into a completely uniform image. In a mid-wave camera, this offset calibration is only done at the factory. In a long-wave camera with a shutter, we can drop the shutter every 10 minutes or so and repeat the calibration. This allows us to correct for camera drift over time. On long-wave cameras, more frequent calibrations are required. When we look inside this Vio HD, we see there's a shutter that can be raised up in front of the sensor. When the calibration is required, the shutter is put in place, the calibration is done against the shutter to bring the camera back to a uniform image, and then the shutter is lowered out of the scene to resume imaging. I have here with me today our Ventus OGI. This is a mid-wave camera, which we offer two nuke tables on. First nuke table is for low energies. This is a 20 millisecond integration time. Having a longer integration time allows the camera to capture more energy in each frame. In the 20 millisecond integration time, the camera is able to look at cold scenes without starving the sensor of energy. In the higher temperature, 10 millisecond integration time, we're able to look at higher scene temperature scenes without oversaturating the sensor. Thanks for watching, my name is Jake. This concludes our Ask an Expert video on camera non-uniformity correction. We'll be putting out more of these videos monthly, so if you have any ideas on other topics you'd like to see covered, please leave them in the comments below.